So here's what we'll be looking at in the next few days about uh, equilibrium and blah blah blah, center of gravity, all that. You see, mini me down there, I'm trying to balance on the stump. Basically, I need to make sure whenever I change my pose, my center of gravity is aligned with my foot down there, my support base. So my center of gravity is somewhere along that line. Probably, I don't know, in this case, probably somewhere here. I'm guessing. Okay, so that's where I will draw the arrow. So as I move my hands around just now, all my muscles are contracting to make sure that the torque, net torque is zero about my center of gravity. Hmm, what does that mean? So say for example, all the clockwise torque from say my arm, my arm, oh, wow, that's, that color cannot see. The weight from my arm, torque here, the torque here, Everywhere else, I can draw a hundred more arrows. I'm going to skip, okay? Talk from this arm, how far is it from the, the pivot point, my head. Make sure all the torque is zero. Or, in other words, net torque is zero. And, of course, I'm not flying or sinking through the, the, the thing or moving left and right. So, I can also say my net force is zero. Okay? So this is what I call in static equilibrium. What I'm trying to do on this tree stump is static equilibrium. Because equilibrium are two types, huh? remember? An object can remain at rest or uh, continue at a constant speed if the force, uh, net force or net torque is zero. It's like Newton's second law. Go back and revise a little bit. So there's moving equilibrium, means you're moving at a constant speed, no acceleration. Or you can say static equilibrium, means you're like at rest, rest. So we're going to look today, we already looked at uh, center of gravity, we're going to look at what it means to be in equilibrium and how to solve problems in static equilibrium. So the conditions, there are two of it. An object is in equilibrium when these two conditions are fulfilled. Let's see. First one, ooh, we, we, we kind of looked at this earlier, when there is no resultant force. So your net or resultant force is zero. Now this also means we are, we are looking at 2D stuff now. So net force in the x direction is zero. Net force in the y direction is zero. Means aka no acceleration because acceleration is zero. It's all the whole, whole sentence in a, a few uh, mini equations. Okay, no resultant force. No acceleration. This is what we looked at previously, okay, in chapter 4. Skydivers, objects moving, tennis ball and everything. Then, the second condition is no resultant torque. Now, we have looked at a lot of torque in the previous video. Torque is just clockwise and anticlockwise, so you don't have X and Y. But basically, your net torque is zero. In other words, all right here, your clockwise torque everywhere equals to the anticlockwise torque and here you don't need to write the positive negative sign because I already moved the negative to the other side so they're positive so whenever you uh, see a question they ask you is it in equilibrium or not you need to check is net force and net torque zero look at this example down here this is a scene from a movie where quite a famous movie but he's saying balance trying to balance a knife and he said perfectly balanced as all things should be Kind of similar to what I did yesterday, but basically what he did is he found the center of gravity. Okay, this is where the center of gravity is, and this guy just applied some normal reaction force there. So the knife is not going to rotate and not going to move up or down or to the left or to the right because he's just balancing there and normal reaction force is there. Okay. So, oh, back to my knife here. If you found the center of gravity, where is it? And you try to move it like that, it's just going to move up and down. It's not going to rotate. If you put it a little to the side and you try to move up and down, it's going to do some flippy, flippy thing like that. You see it? Flippy, flippy, flippy. That's because... The, the, the center of gravity is not where your finger is and so there's going to be some torque when you move it up and down. Anyway, just remember this knife. No resultant force, no resultant torque. Equilibrium. 